welcome guys this is Ola from stop me old channel now this is going to be a very simple video I'm not going to edit it too much I just want to say a few things and just show it to you kind of raw first of all I want to thank you all for being yesterday with me during that stream that was pretty cool I'm very sorry about all the mistakes that I made that was my first serious stream so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna you know remember the lesson from yesterday and prepare better when it comes to streaming and work on my quality and all that so but you've been very patient with me and it just seems like I have the best viewers in the entire world or entire YouTube or something you guys are so nice really like with the amount of hate going on in the internet these days I mean anything is a reason reason enough to hate someone and to be a hater you were like the nicest and kindest people of all and very understanding which I appreciate a lot because this was kind of stressful I didn't really expect to get into the game as much as I did because truth to be told I, I was more focused on setting everything up and making it work properly then I sort of I sort of forgot that this is about the actual game and saying that farewell one thing I want to mention you know Lorenzo Tonelli, the one that's uh, recording, covering songs for my background music? He started a channel of his own. I told you guys yesterday this during the stream, but maybe I'm, some of you were not there. So I'm going to le leave a link in the description for his channel where he's uploading his covers. He's a very talented mu musician, so you can subscribe and like his songs. And yeah, I I'm sure he'll be very happy about that. And I'm sure you will enjoy that as well the stream from last night is going to be available but YouTube somehow decided to trim it and only left the second half when I'm not even playing anymore <laughs> when we were just talking and it was pretty fun like I, it was amazing to see a lot of people that usually comment under my videos and to actually interact with you guys because you were texting and I was answering I know that I was very tired by the end of it but we somehow made it to almost four hours of stream I did not expect that at all but as I said, I'm going to set up a Discord server so we can properly interlock because this was too much fun to let it go. And as far as letting go goes, I want to say that, that that farewell episode really destroyed me last night. I mean, you were there, we were all crying. I want to say that I enjoyed that episode more than I enjoyed episode 3 of Before the Storm. I enjoyed it because, well, we were walking around Chloe's house, finding stuff, some memoirs and memorabilia from their childhood. Well, they're still in their childhood at this point, but like earlier childhood. You know, it was pretty minim minimalistic and pretty nostalgic and then sentimental and pretty much what I expected it to be. I knew that we would probably see William's death and I knew that we would probably see Max leaving to Seattle, but I didn't really expect it the way they handled it with that song. And as, as I said before, you were there. I, I don't remember last time I was crying as hard. This was so much. And this entire episode, it just really put a new light on the price field thing. To me, right now, I really think that price field is sort of a canon thing because of the bond that they had. It was way too strong. Mm. I'm very happy that Rachel showed up after that. Really, I'm so thankful that Rachel showed up and that she was the one good thing going on in Chloe's life at this point because there are really no words that could explain Max's behavior I'm gonna make separate videos on that these are just my first thoughts they're still pretty fresh still going on in my head but what I'm thinking I don't really know why Max never contacted Chloe I thought that we would get some sort of explanation anything really any hint that maybe she met someone in Seattle Maybe she would tell us as a narrator that she was too afraid or she didn't know how to act, how to behave, that she was in trauma herself, anything of that sort. But no, we didn't get anything. Instead, we got that tape when she said, Chloe, we'll always be together. I'll always love you. Which are the exact same words that Chloe said to Max while the Life is Strange ending scene. So I know what you did there before the Storm Deck 9 developers. And it was so sad, but it was okay sad. It wasn't going too far, I think, even though it really went too far for me personally, because I feel devastated emotionally after that episode, after that ending. But it really put a new light on Max and Chloe's relationship to me. And now it just feels like I understand why Max did all the things that she did during Life is Strong. 
life is strange life is strong oh god it's not strong not in this case during life is strange why she was trying so hard to protect chloe from everything and to save her how can you not save chloe after that bonus episode this if if you don't save chloe the last scene from the bonus episode that's the last time they ever see each other and chloe is left with nothing and with no one and then she dies you cannot let that happen i mean do you really want to sacrifice chloe still i feel like as max playing as max it's max's responsibility to save chloe because of what she did that like if i were her i don't know if i would be able to live with that guilt i know what you're going to say you're going to say that max was still a child she didn't know what she was doing she wasn't a grown up enough to make the right decisions or that she was in trauma herself after losing william because she also lost william but no it doesn't explain max and you know that i'm the first person to explain people i mean i even work in a criminal division where i explain criminals every single day and i find it hard to explain max now this is really deep and going far i i still love max but i just think that she really fucked up at this certain point and i don't like what she did leaving that voice message and saying that we'll always be together and we'll always be in touch and then never contacting chloe i i don't i don't like it at all i don't accept it i'm going to make another video on that subject probably because i don't know this bonus episode even though it was short i expected it to be short but even though it was short it provided me with so so much like information if you want to think about price field and all that and everything that happened afterwards so i'm gonna do this I'll, I'll also try and discuss the butterfly graffiti that showed up next to the fireplace that i sort of missed but you guys told me about that i think it should have been her in the first place it should have been there in the first place because if you want to stick to the timeline max went back to save william then she failed to do so by putting chloe in that you know weird sickness position then she went back and then she let william die which means the very same day we saw 19 year old max was there and she was sort of well she let william go so she did the graffiti i mean maybe that's the thing maybe as a player you could have that was your choice to do that you didn't necessarily have to do that so huh that's interesting that's pretty interesting because like do you see what i mean like if max went back to save william that she did the graffiti and then william died so the butterfly graffiti it's meant to be there overall i like that episode it was um yeah it was short but then again it was a bonus i didn't expect it to be as long as other episodes it couldn't really influence too much yet it did for me emotionally like i did not expect it to change my mind about max as much about chloe and max also about the final decision i think i think it was okay overall as an episode these are just my first impressions i'm gonna make a few more videos about it because it just seems like even though it was short there's plenty to discuss again i want to thank you all for being there last night with me especially that post that post discussion that we had that got so random at certain points i'm sending back my microphone to be replaced this one is borrowed this device but i think it's working pretty well i like it a lot so i'm gonna consider that because of that microphone situation the all other videos were sold off on hold but and now i'm gonna go back to everything that i was doing before so i'm gonna continue walking that playthrough i'm gonna do more and more life is strange videos obviously and i'm gonna do the q a that i promised also i'm gonna do more li uh, live streams because it was so much fun and now it seems like i have a recording space so this is my new recording space which will be easier for me to use actually now i did this as a temporary solution yesterday but it seems like it's working so yeah i hope i hope it will be better from now on again i want to say that i have absolutely the best subscribers or viewers in the in, in entire youtube thank you so much especially frost for stepping up and modding i didn't really have a moderator and it's very cool that that you did that even though i didn't really leave you any choice 
Discord server is coming. I'm going to set it up, maybe even leave a link under that video. And other than that, I'll see you soon, guys. Obviously, more videos about farewell coming. Th these are just my first thoughts that I wanted to share instantly. 24 hours later. Thanks for being here. This was Olaf from Stop Me O Channel. If you can see that. But you know it. Bye.